Prime is the viral hydration drink that has been pushed by the social media influencer, Logan Paul. The drink caused media shockwaves when videos went viral, showing hundreds of people queuing up to buy it in supermarkets. So the PR has been amazing, but what about the drink? It's a dubious cocktail of ill-thought-out electrolytes, some vitamins and dubious BCAAs. Before we mention Logan Paul's dubious crypto influencing, let's start with what's in a bottle of Prime. It's just colored and flavored water, comprising of ingredients that are nothing new or groundbreaking. If you go to the Prime website, there is little detailed information or any explanation of the logic behind the choice and dosage. Prime comes in two varieties, Prime Energy in a can and the bottled Prime Hydration. Here is a list of ingredients in one bottle of Prime Hydration. This amount of coconut water is a token gesture to sound natural. It would be a better product if it were just coconut water. The branch chain amino acids are three of the nine essential amino acids, but are present here in very low doses. BCAA levels in scientific studies range from 5,000 to 10,000 mg per day. Some supplements cite 200 mg per kilo of body weight. BCAA are a hyped product and are really only useful when taken with the whole range of amino acids. This would ideally come from food, but could come from a quality whey protein. It's a waste of time to add zinc in such a small amount. 1.1 mg is a fraction of the RDA, which is 15 mg. The sodium level of 10 mg is this product's Achilles heel. Why even bother adding 1 one hundredth of a gram? Someone who sweats and needs rehydration needs so much more. A liter of sweat contains about a teaspoon of salt. We sweat out lots of sodium but not potassium, which is regulated by the kidneys and lost in urine. The likely reason Prime has such a low sodium content is that it would worsen the taste. A lack of salt in the body is called hyponatremia and it has serious consequences. Sucralose is an artificial sweetener with a questionable health record on gut health. Potassium is a very big dose, and it swamps the minuscule sodium level. Whilst the RDA for potassium is pretty high at 4.7 grams, it should be better balanced against sodium. The vitamin and magnesium levels are less, or comparable to any cheap multivitamin. Vitamin. Now let's take a look at the canned energy version. The prime energy canned drink includes 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is very high, equivalenting to around half a liter of coffee. It also has way fewer electrolytes. Prime hydration is essentially 6 grams of carbs with some random ingredients, plus the fitness industry's worst product, BCAAs. Most ingredients can be easily found in a good diet. Any serious athlete wouldn't take Prime for hydration. Most of the literature and YouTube videos on Prime focus only on how tasty it is. People who do a normal non-strenuous job don't really need electrolyte drinks, they would be better off drinking water and using a low salt and popping a multivitamin containing magnesium. This would ensure good levels of sodium, potassium and magnesium. Taurine is the glaring omission from the ingredients in Prime. Red Bull contains 1 gram of taurine which is a genuine star with so many metabolic benefits. Looking at the customers queuing up in the supermarket for Prime, most had not set foot in a gym and the bottles are either going to be chugged or mixed with alcohol. People are also likely to consume multiple bottles. The bottle labeling is very vague about the nutrient contents and the website has little information. Prime retails at £2, but all the hype and fake scarcity have caused people to resell it for vast amounts. People were buying at inflated prices just to get a selfie with a bottle for their Instagram. The Prime craze led to kids being bullied to hand over bottles, the product being given security tags, and wide scale theft. The media was flooded by influencers. It wasn't the first time Logan Paul has taken something worthless and pumped up the price to his gullible audience. Introducing the failed cryptos, ZooCoin, Dink Doink Coin, and some terrible NFTs. Logan Paul was outed by an investigative researcher called Coffeezilla in 2022, links to his videos are in the description. Coffeezilla proved that Logan made millions of dollars using his huge following to allegedly scam them into buying worthless cryptos and NFTs. They were always going to get pumped up, and then dumped by the crypto developers. Look at this chart for ZooCoin, a classic pump and dump. Logan denied it for months then made a groveling apology to his fans. Logan Paul told his fans that his NFT game wasn't a scam, he just hired ex-felons and scammers to build it and they did some scamming. This is the sad state of social media in 2023, when so-called influencers push bad products, like Prime, to their trusting and gullible audiences. If you look at the major networks that covered the Prime Energy Drink story, they all were positively gushing about Logan Paul and his partner KSI. 
Logan's dodgy crypto past was never mentioned. The brains behind Prime are US businessmen Trey Steiger and Max Clemens, who created the drink. They simply recruited Logan Paul and KSI to be the frontmen. The model was tried and tested. Take an average product, hire influences, and pump. Logan's crypto career was a simple cash grab, and sadly, Prime is too. Parents need to know about Prime, it's not going to get their children lined up for an athletic career. It's just going to make them susceptible to junk products and fads. There are some very professional and scientific electrolyte products on the market that are great for people who work out a lot. The Prime Hydration Drink isn't one of them. How to make an, How to make an electrolyte drink that's way better than Prime. Spend 10 pence per day on a decent multivitamin. Add half a teaspoon of low sodium salt to a glass of water and add half a tablet of Barocca for taste. This video is just an opinion, and it's important to do your own research. If you enjoyed this short video, please click the like button, and subscribe to the channel to see more.